One of the exciting new features in 2019.3 is a feature called Explain Data. In order to set the context, I'm going to walk you through some ad hoc analysis that you would do to arrive at a very similar conclusion. In this scatter plot, you can see sales and profit on columns and rows, and this chart is broken down by cities. Now, immediately, you can see that there's some outliers over here on the right hand side. If I was to select this top one, one of the things I'd normally want to do is try and understand why is this value an outlier? There's multiple ways I could do that. I could view the table of data, go into full data, and then start doing this analysis in the probably the least ideal format, just essentially analyzing the profit rows, ratios, and trying to see if I can analyze anything from this table. It's actually quite hard to do. The other option, if I'm a desktop author of a Tableau dashboard, is I'd probably select this item, keep just that item in my data set by pretty much just creating a set. You'll see that it's it's created an inclusion set over here in the filters pane, and then breaking this view down to its most granular level. In this particular case, it's going to be order ID, and the product name, because a customer can order multiple products in a single order. And then what we can now see is a spread of data that was originally on that one data point. And you can very clearly see that there's an outlier over here that's probably skewing our data. You've also got a large sort of center of mass over here on the left. So actually that one data point is being driven heavily by some of these outliers out here. Now, if I just go back a few steps, that's an analysis that's very hard to do just from this one data point. So one of the nice new features in 2019.3 is I can click on this option and you'll now see this new option, which is a circle just on this command tool pane. I'll just highlight it here for you. This is the feature that allows you to explain the data. When I click on this, Tableau is actually running a range of machine learning models. You'll see it's already finished doing them. And it will highlight the data point I selected across the top and show me the options that I saw in the tooltip. But you'll also see that it's done some analysis on that particular data point. And the first thing it's realized is that this mark has a higher than expected number of records. So this particular one data point has a higher than normal number of records sitting behind it. That means that its position could be skewed simply by the number of records sitting behind it. The second thing you'll see here is that Tableau has actually identified that there is an extreme value in our data set. And it's generated this chart to show you that value. It's also highlighting the particular line and the particular customer in this particular case. And if I scroll down, you'll notice that it actually draws a view that excludes that extreme value. What I can do is I can click on this icon here on the top right to open as a new worksheet. When I do that, it actually brings out that worksheet onto a view. And I can move this annotation over and it now shows me my new data point with that extreme value removed. The great thing is that this window is modal, so I can still see this analysis whilst I'm working with this view. I can head back to the tab that originally activated this view and I can keep doing my analysis. I'll switch over to the sum of cells. You'll notice that it's pulled out these two measures because they're fundamentally the measures that are on the columns and rows. If I added a third measure onto my marks pane, let's say quantity, you'll notice that Tableau warns you when its analysis is no longer valid. Essentially, it's noticed that I've added a third measure onto my marks pane and it gives you a warning to let you know that the visualization has changed. I need to rerun this analysis. So if I go back, click on that same data point and then rerun the analysis, you'll see that I now get a new option for the quantity, which I added onto the size. If I head over to the quantity, I'm now able to interrogate that. And the only standard item here is that the number of records sitting behind this data point. That's a consistent feature across all the measures. Because it refers to that one data point, it's going to be a consistent item. You'll also see that in terms of profit, this data point also has another extreme value related to profit. It's again, the same customer. So that one customer, from a sales and profit perspective is an outlier. That's just one example of explained data. 
In a different example, I'm going to show you how this works in a more real life situation. Let me switch over to another visualization that I have. This chart prepared by Tableau shows the average duration of home ownership in London. You can see that the color of each borough represents the average duration of a home ownership. So you can see here that Newham has the lowest value of 4.8 years, whereas Sutton and Bexley and nearly Hillingdon have some of the higher values. If I want to analyze some of that data, I can. Again, I just select the data point, then hit explain data. You'll see that Tableau runs its machine learning algorithms. This time it's taking a bit longer. The data set is a little bit larger. And you can see that Tableau has done analysis into that one particular item and it's generated some new insight for us. So the first thing to notice is that in blue, it represents the mark that we've selected. In this particular case, the uh, this is the Sutton region. And in gray is the rest of our data. And so what this is saying is that in Sutton in particular, there is a higher proportion of households in terraces and flats, nearly 40%. And then you can see the remainder of properties that aren't over here on the right hand side in blue. So this blue percentage on the right plus this on the left constitute 100%. It also shows you the spread for all marks. So you can see here that for all other data, that value is much, much lower, probably just under 10%. If I go over to this next dimension, you can see that it's looked at one of the attributes and it's realized that in this particular borough, there's a higher percentage of young adults. Less than 20% and 20 to 30% are both almost exclusively the only values available in Sutton. However, if you compare it to the spread in our data set, you'll see that the spread is a lot higher and a lot more evenly spread out across all the items. This is some of the powerful analysis that explain data can do right off the bat without you having to create ad hoc analysis for the user to dive into. That's it.